Hi, beautiful. Today, we're watching people attempt to give themselves pixie haircuts. These are very technically difficult to do as a hairstylist, so you guys know it's gonna be even harder to do it at home because you also can't see the back of your head. It takes training to do a good pixie cut, especially when you're cutting off so much hair. So, strap in, baby, and let's see <laughs> what these people do to their heads. Up first, we have a video by Emily Redabow. I'm about to chop my hair into a pixie cut. I'm starting to get to a point where I only find my beauty in my hair and I just don't like it when I feel like that. Story of my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. I do only find my beauty is my hair, which is why I'm a fucking hairstylist, right? That got depressing. All right, I'll just keep, I'll leave my depression for my therapist. She's about to cut this all off. And honestly, it looks like she could sacrifice some of those dead ends. I'm happy those are gonna fall to the floor. Also, let's do the roots. Let's bleach the roots. Okay, the back is looking a little goofy off. Shoot. All right, let's be more generous with the cutting the length off thing because that was like a, literally a one incher. Here's what we have so far. <laughs> um, oh, do you see how uneven that is? We gotta, we gotta fix that. I do, I see how uneven it is. We're gonna have to do a little chop a rooney, a little fix a rooney. We gotta get that elevation in, babe. We gotta pull all the hair out from the head like that. Boom, bang, boom, 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 boom. Make it nice and rounded, cut it in there, bang, done. Wrap it around, screw it up, sing song do. Remember when I used to give actual, like, helpful advice in these videos? Those were the days, ma'am. Now it's just me fucking around. All right, I'll give a helpful piece of advice today. When we're using a razor, you gotta lift the section up all the way, and then as you go down, we can't just that's not gonna make any sense. I really don't know what to do. It's just really thick in the back and I can't see the back of my head. To be honest with you, she was on the right track with the whole razor thing. I think that would've been a great idea because it's a little bit easier to cut with a razor on the back of your head than it is with some scissors. Cause you really just have to kind of feel it out, feel the vibes going on instead of like actually cutting and then you can like cut your finger off and it's like not fun. I've done it before and then I have to get my finger sewn back on. It looks kind of realistic, doesn't it? Yeah, just like pull your hair up and cut it. None of you guys have told me I have long hair, by the way. That's fucked up. Like, I got a fuck bob and nobody even comments about it. Y'all know who the real ones are now. None of you. What? Do y'all see how bad that is? <laughs> mm. Crisp. Okay, so we've resorted to just razoring everything now. Apparently that's the vibe we're going with. Ah. I just don't know about this one. It's it's looking spooked. Yo, what is this? <laughs> Basically, I kept thinning and shortening my hair to about like one o'clock in the morning. This just ain't it. See, this is what I was worried about. What happened to the, the scissors? Why are we just raised right now? We gotta get the cut in first, okay? Hair update, I guess. Here's what it looks like. <clears throat> how goofy does it look? I have no idea what to s how to style it, though. It looks good on me. I'm just gonna be honest. As long as you wear it with confidence, Nobody will- nobody else's opinions will matter. I mean, you're gorgeous. Listen, your hair is not what makes you, it is just an accessory, and it's whatever you want it to be. I'm into it. I wish it was like shorter and edgier. Like for me, personally, nobody asked, but I'm gonna share my opinion because that is what I do best. I wish you would wear it like super messy and fucked up and like go shorter and, you know, have the platinum blonde crisp white hair. I just like love this sort of edgy look on you. I wish you pushed it further, you know, like just go for it if you're gonna do it. But also you look beautiful like this. Up next, we have a video by Victoria Ray. Oh my God, I'm doing this, oh my God, I'm doing this, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh is right. She has beautiful hair. It's so wavy and cute. She's about to cut it all off. But I'm also really excited for her. Like, I feel like this is gonna be a good change if she can like somewhat pull it off. <laughs> that's, 
that's gonna be the hard part. First things first, if you want to do this haircut, you're going to want your dog grooming shears kit from when you wanted to be a dog groomer. You know, I was really excited for like one second. I thought she was gonna say this is my professional haircutting kit, but no, it is a dog grooming kit, which honestly, it might be fine. It seems similar. Cutting dog hair and cutting human hair. A lot of dogs have human hair, or not human hair, but like human-ish hair. I don't know. I'm not a dog hair specialist, but seems it's fine. We'll go with it. I've been thinking for years, I want this haircut. Oh, that reference was really short. She's really gonna go for it. So I'm just gonna take the length off and I'm gonna keep this like so. Oh my God, that's, that's kind of a look. Okay, so she is about to cut all of it off or cut all the length off and then she's gonna go back and cut it some more to like refine the cut. Great idea. And she's cutting above the elastic. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yo, she is going for it with no fear. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, I was kind of contemplating doing like a 90s pixie cut. Right now my hair looks really janky. Okay, we're gonna put tons of layers in it. It definitely looked a little janky. We better be going in and fixing that all up. We're gonna do like a little schnipperoony all around. We're gonna do a little layer. We're gonna do a little trimming. We're gonna do a little... How are you gonna do this? That's gone. That's years of my life gone. She chopped it, huh? Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm loving that one little piece just falling down the back. <laughs> Can we please keep that one little strand? It's kind of a moment. You're gonna wanna take your comb from where the hairline wants to fall down forward. You're gonna wanna separate that from the rest. So just about here. Okay, so you have that section now. Oh, she's going in with some hairstylist techniques here. She's doing a little horseshoe sectioning. This is good, except I think she missed her parietal ridge, which is like part that comes out the farthest on the sides. Um, she went a little bit too high, but that's okay. At least she's sectioning. And some people start layering from the front while others from the back. I kind of want to go for the front. That way I can get an idea of how long I want it and how what looks good against my face. I think that's a great idea to start from the front and go back. That way you can like, yeah, you can see what you're doing first. So to create layers, you're going to want to take sections diagonally, not like just straight down. I mean, you could do straight down. From what I've researched, it gives you like more texture and movement when you cut diagonally. So I wanted to possibly leave it longer, like give myself a little bit of sideburn so I can make like a little curly cue or something really cute like that. Okay, whoa. She's also doing diagonal forward sectioning. She really did research this, but let's see if she can actually pull it off. Like I haven't seen a real cut yet. So I don't know, girl. You're gonna wanna repeat that on the other side and even it out, like all the way to like the part that you had from behind me here. Okay, so I got the front pieces going. Now I'm going to start on the back. And essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna split down the middle, middle and you're gonna start um, cutting diagonally. I wanna leave some length in the back. She's like really doing the damn thing. I thought all of today's videos were gonna be a total fail. Go, can you please fuck up a little bit because otherwise this video's not gonna be that entertaining and like it's gonna be kind of boring for people to watch. You're doing too good. <laughs> you know, I want your hair to come out good, but like, you know. Pull it 90 degrees from the head, like straight out from the head, um, all the way up because the natural curve of your head will make it so it's a different length. Okay, if you're not a hairstylist, I think you should be because even some hairstylists don't understand this concept. I'm telling you, like, you are way more advanced than a lot of people. You have some natural talent here. What? This piece is a little bit longer. There we go. Is it perfect? No. Is it good enough? Yeah. <laughs> This has to be the most impressive at-home haircut I've ever seen from a person who's not a hairstylist. I'm gonna put it out there. Now, can she do the top correctly? Mm, it's hard like this. Oh, uh, what was that? <laughs> Who told you to do it like that? <laughs> Why is it getting worse now that we're on the top of the head where you can see the most hair? Who? How? What happened? I was very impressed with you until this moment. And now, it's all getting weird. 
like this piece is really long. I missed that. So I'm gonna wanna cross check that. Girl, what is going on? We need to work on our elevation, babe, because your elevation is dropping and that is not good for a haircut. All right, we're giving ourselves a bang now, but we still gotta add some layers to those bangs, I hope, or else it's gonna be way too heavy and too bulky at the front. When she puts it back, it's not gonna sort of blend with the rest of the haircut. It's not gonna look right. So I'm gonna go in there and make some layers. So I'm gonna take sections. I think I'm gonna take this middle section. She's doing layers, she's doing layers. I take a little piece out in the front, so the front keeps its length, but I have this chunk. But then I also take a piece from the back section that I just did. Oh my God, why is that so <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, it doesn't look completely right. Somewhat right, but like, no, 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 no. Why is that piece a mile long, babe? This is so cute. This is the end result. I love it, I love it. I feel like Betty Boop, but in the best of ways. Just here, I'll give a close up. This is what it looks like. You did that yourself? How the hell did you pull that off? Like, I watched it, but I still don't understand how you pulled that off. So I got out of the shower with wet hair, just scrunched it with some of my curl cream and it just dried like this. I feel like I'm 100% sure that I'm not going to regret this decision. This is your vibe. This is your aesthetic. I'm obsessed. It even matches like your house aesthetic. Like everything is just coming together. This is perfect for you. Great execution. What the fuck? I don't know how you did that. I'm shocked. Up next, we have a video by Tia Go Solo. I am cutting my hair. I want it short. I've got comb, scissors, hair bands, a spray bottle. Oh, we're breaking out the tools today. We got clippers now. We saw some razors. We saw some scissors. We are seeing everything. I don't know what she's about to do with that, with those clippers, because I mean, unless she's gonna shave the sides, I don't know. I watched a Brad Mondo video, as all the girls do, about how to cut men's haircuts, but I'm not a man, but I really want that kind of style. I really just didn't think this was gonna go in this direction. I don't know why, I didn't think she was gonna say she was following my tutorial, but this is starting to make sense. So we're gonna take, like, keep that, follow that line, like, down the back. This is a look. Ooh, that section looks nice. Just kidding, it's a little low. We need, like, a big side you know we need a little more oh my god okay we're going for the first cut <laughs> because <sighs> you're about to cut off a lot more oh my god it is so short and number two. <laughs> oh, i like that noise i like using the clipper but when somebody else uses it that noise gives me like a little bit of anxiety like a lot of anxiety <laughs> wait his actual hair that came off Stop, hold on. You can stop, but you're not going to, are you? I'm just gonna keep going. I think I'm gonna just like chop the long bits off this just to make it a bit easier. This is gonna be so choppy. So I've definitely have had short hair before, but it has never been this short. You can see my ears. You can see my ears. Yeah, usually that's how it works when you cut your hair off, you know? I'm so proud of her. She's really going for it, and this is getting good. It's really showing off her beautiful face. Oh, wait. Sorry. Um, what? Oh, she has literally no hair on the sides of her head now. I'm so happy for her. She's doing a thing. Okay, now I think it's just about time to start dismantling this. Everything is gonna be fine. All right, let's see how she's going to cut the top of her hair because that seems to be the problem for everybody. They can't figure out how to do the top. <laughs> What have I done? Oh, she's getting somewhere. I still don't know how she's gonna pull this look together. It can't possibly be like that bad. I'm cutting my hair for the first and quite possibly 
possibly the last time. I think the issue is that there are bits that are just too long. The issue is that you didn't cut high enough. So now all of this hair from the top is just kind of going over the shorter sides and it's, you just didn't cut high enough. I just tidied it up a little bit. Just kind of cut some pieces that were sticking out. It's definitely not salon quality. It's so weird to not like have hair. I'm definitely not mad about this. This is kind of cute. Okay, so it's now the next day. My hair has completely dried. I slept in it just very normally last night and I'm really happy with it. The back definitely does not look good, but it doesn't look bad. And so I'm very okay with how this all turned out. I feel like I've like come into my true form more with this haircut. Like it's so much nicer and it was liberating and I'm really, really happy with it. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I love it on you. I think you should go even shorter, but I do love this look on you. You just rock it. Like what? Next you have to do color. Like I'm sorry, but a pixie cut with some edgy ass color is always the vibe. You sketched me out, but you pulled something off. And that's all that matters. Well, there were definitely some major fails and some major slays today. I'm happy for you guys. Get rid of that hair. You don't need it, you know? If you want to check out my hair care or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodelhair.com. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.